this kind of picked up some steam over the last couple of days over on our Facebook page. And I, I think, and we brought it up, I think it was what, towards the end of the show on um, Monday. And we we're talking about food care, uh, pairings. Um, I like apple juice and Ritz crackers. Micah wrote in, he says he likes the Dr. Pepper and the pistachio ice cream float. Um, yours was the... I have a lot, but I had thought of a new, another one I like to do. Almond in the coffee. You I take, like to chew almonds. You take a bite of almonds. They're unsalted, by the way, because if they're salted, it's a little weird. But if they're... You chew up some almonds and then <laughs> take a drink of coffee. Then it got weird. <laughs> what about potato chips with tuna fish sandwich and a glass of milk? I'm a big fan. Yeah, I like is it. that normal I, though? You can't to see have this. potato chips, tuna fish, and milk together. You can't see this on the radio, but I just gave Jeremy an emphatic two thumbs up and smiled like a child. I was like, "Yes, that's that's a really good one." You put the potato chips in the tuna tuna fish. No, tuna no, fish? no, I eat them separate, but you can do that. I just have put them on the side. Oh, so you take tuna fish, potato chips, no bread. No, 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 a sandwich, a tuna fish sandwich, and I eat the tuna fish sandwich, and I eat, and then I put t- 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 potato chips in my mouth, and then I drink a glass of milk. Oh, to wash it all down? To wash it all down. It's uh, very good. Washing oh, it, it down. There's so much, so many things uh, to wash it down. Here's one of these questions. Do you ever get heartburn after eating tuna fish? I always get heartburn after eating tuna fish, and I no, want to know what never. it is about the tuna. I eat all kinds of other fish, salmon, cod, halibut. I never get heartburn. But for maybe, some reason... Maybe your heart aches for all the uh, dolphin, fish, dolphins tuna, that were killed in harvesting that. Tuna fish gives me that, that acid that, that reflux tuna. burn. Uh, a- a- Amy writes in. She says that um, this is one that I think is scary. She likes to do the grape rock star energy drink with a grape five-hour energy shot and a shot of vodka. Oh, my God. You're going to kill yourself, <laughs> Amy. Slow down. <laughs> Why do you need this much energy? She, maybe she's, like, recovering from crack or something. Like, she needs... No offense, Amy, but I mean, for God's sake, you sound like somebody who used to do a lot of crack, and now you can't do crack anymore, so you're trying to do the next best thing. So she is taking an energy drink, which is going to speed up her heart. Then she's throwing a five-hour energy shot on top mm-hmm. of that, yes. and she's cha- and mixing it up with vodka. Um, yeah, that's definitely not recommended by probably any What is the flavor of a, of a rock star energy drink, by the way? You know what I'm talking about? The standard the, flavor? Yeah, the standard flavor. They make know. the lemon lime, which I like because it tastes like uh, Fresca. But the the other one is just, to me, it's almost like a bubble gummy, weird, I don't know. I energy can't be- drinks scare the hell out of me. They really do. And I've, I, after, I, I tried one when they first came out with the Red Bull, and I was like, that's it. That's good. It was like a free sample. Remember the Go Girl energy a, drinks we got here? There was a hot chick that was Go giving Go it out on, on the college campus that I was go- attending at the time. And she's like, hey, do you want some Red Bull? And I was like, hey, <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? What's your name? She's like, sorry, I got to go get more, more Red Bull. Um, and I tried the Red Next Bull. You know, you were trying to get her number and then you were just sitting there with a Red Bull. In and your it hand. did not give me wings. And I, but I and that was the, that's my only foray into energy drinks. And the reason why is because everybody I know that has got an energy drink addiction has the most foulest breath that I have ever smelled in my life, okay? And I know it has something to do with the amount of sugar that's in in an energy drink. So what did they do? They came out with the sugar-free energy drinks. And the sugar-free energy drinks still give people bad breath. I don't know what it is, but that's my digression. On the energy drink. Yeah, some people are very strange. Real maple syrup. Mm-hmm. Not that fake stuff, you know. Not the Golden Griddle or the Mrs. Buttersworth, but you got to buy the real maple syrup. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the difference? I, I only get... I real just get maple syrup, syrup is, uh, like, come from the tree. All that other stuff has molasses and sugars and all this other stuff well, yeah. added to it. So, like, to get real maple syrup... So, when you buy syrup, it's not maple syrup? It's not 100% real maple syrup. You can actually buy that. And it's thinner and it's uh, it's not as... It's like sweet, it. but it's I like not it. as sweet. I like it. It's better for my pancakes. But anyways, I like it. The, real the maple the syrup and mustard on hot dogs. Now, okay, I'll tell you this. That's vinegar, oh, sweet sugar. Hold on a second. There is a rub that I make, a spread that that, that I got the recipe for because I we eat salmon a lot in our house, and you got to figure out different ways to spruce up salmon. There is this, and I this is this is the only way I make salmon now. It's a recipe that calls for like a like I think like an eighth of a cup or a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. Okay. Yeah, I've done that with salmon. And you put Pretty mustard. Calm. You put mustard into the brown sugar, 
and then you stir it around. It's a glaze. And you make it as a glaze. Yes, I've heard. I guess I have so heard of that. So if you, if you have brown sugar and mustard, why can't you have, have maple, syrup. maple syrup and mustard? Maybe and you should try this. Put it on a hot dog. Maybe you should try I syrup have some and mustard. Dogs. I have some hot dogs in queue in the refrigerator. I will try that. That is a hack right there. This, will sound, this sounds amazing. Quit with the brown sugar. Use the, mu- use the mustard and the syrup and spread that on your sandwich. Because the consistency always comes out different. With the depending on how much uh, brown sugar you use, you know sometimes it turns like sometimes I poured a little bit too much brown sugar in there, not enough mustard because I do the free pour, and then it, it becomes a paste mm. and not a not an I actual like a, actual glaze. I like this idea. Which a lot. Is, sometimes the paste works better than the glaze. How long do you cook the fish for? Like twenty minutes? Twenty minutes into the broiler. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm thinking about the smoker. You could probably do it for fifteen minutes. My family is all about you know really cooked fish. Yeah, yeah I like it really tender. Yeah, um, Julia writes in. She says red Doritos and cottage cheese. And the reason why I bring this up, what is our red Dorito and nacho she, cheese Dorito? I don't know. I was going to ask you because you're the Dorito. You're the yeah. Dorito king. You I know think it's a nacho about, cheese Dorito. Or is it a spicy Dorito? I mean, unless it's like those red um, Cheetos, those fire Cheetos. Maybe it's the fire Dorito. The fire Dorito is probably red. Like a flaming Hot yeah, Ones? Yeah, in cottage cheese. That would be good. Uh, Carly uh, actually seconds this one on, on Facebook. I third it. Is it wait, you I haven't, haven't even, even tr- tried it. No, it's, it's got to be good, right? My wife likes to do pretzels and cream cheese. I do too. Oh, you've done that. Yeah, That's the pretzel good. chips. Yeah. The pretzel chips and the cream cheese. Cream cheese. I'm sorry, cottage cheese and Doritos. Or com- uh, cottage cheese. <laughs> Wait, did you did you mean to say she does it in cottage cheese or cream cheese? Cream cheese. No, it's cream cheese. Oh, Filled I do, I do my cheese. pretzels in the cottage cheese. Oh, yeah, try it in cream cheese. It's pretty good. Actually, cream cheese on anything is... I, I've never had anything bad with cream cheese. Yeah. I, I've I, had it on hot dogs. Toast. Uh, I've had it on, yeah. Crackers. Avocado's pretty good, too, because it's kind of like cream cheese, but it's healthier for you. <laughs> Uh, hit the uh, Facebook and Twitter. You can respond Scott, at Jeff and Jerry. Scott Rodin said that he puts ketchup on his grilled cheese sandwich. It's like dipping it into tomato soup. I'm sorry because it, it just gets more fetishy and more weird the deeper you go into this Facebook post about weird food pairings. Like apples and mayonnaise? Yes. Weird. Like why would you dip an apple in mayonnaise? Like okay. why? What, did, did so, at, at one, one point, point in your time, life, well, yeah, did you did you trip and fall and find yourself with an apple in your hand and fall into a cup of mayonnaise? Like how does this happen? Well, maybe they had a sandwich and it had mayonnaise on it, and on that same plate they sliced up some apples and they had it on the plate, and they had some apple slices mm-hmm. with their sandwich, and that's how the mayonnaise got on mm-hmm. there. I wonder what this tastes like. <laughs> but then it's somebody else mentions it on there. Matt writes and he says that he likes pears and mayonnaise. So there must be something to this combination. Um, Mayonnaise on a sandwich, in tuna fish, in salads. Will is the craziest. Not on apples. Okay. He takes pre-sliced jalapenos. I'm guessing the pickled kind, the ones that you would get. Are they pickled? Are those pickled or are they just kind of in sauce? What are you, what are you talking about? Jalapenos. Oh, you know, you know for the most part they are, yes. Okay. If they're in a jar with liquid, they're pickled. Okay. Otherwise, you buy them fresh. Uh, the, he takes the pre-sliced jalapenos. And he puts them in double stuffed Oreo cookies. At what point in time do you sit there and you're looking? I mean, it, this has to be like, okay, I'm starving and we have nothing else in the house. I remember once there was nothing in the house except for an onion. I was like, how am I going to, an onion and some oil, okay? Okay, you could saute the onion. Yeah, so I sauteed the onion. Because eating one raw is not I was, very, like, There was very nothing good. else in the house to eat at that time. That was like poor, 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 poor. That's all you Jack. had was an onion? That's all we had was you, an onion and... A we. Yeah, it was when I was living with my ex-girlfriend. Okay. All we had in the you house... You guys just ate sauteed onions time, for dinner? Well, that night we did, yes. It was like <laughs> the last day before payday. Is that the most pathetic poor dish you ever oh, had? Oh my gosh, yes. I can't imagine. That's I remember one bottom. time I was That was rock bottom. I was in high school and I didn't pack a lunch. And uh I think I was living out on my own because my senior year I just I, oh God, this is yeah, one of those kid things. I, I convinced mo- my mom, your mom to teach me responsibility. I don't know how wise that was. And I got a check because my dad had passed away the year before for $1,000 a month. And I said, I'm going to take this. I'm going to spend my, you know, $200 a month on my rent and the rest I'm going to live on. Well, I, you know, ate it and drank and partied and all this other stuff and paid stuff for friends. So then I'd always be broke. You guys had a fraternity in high school, essentially. Yes, we lived in our own house. There was like seven guys that lived in this house. And so I worked at this body shop after school, sweeping the floors and washing cars and doing things like that. And I'd go in the break room and they had nothing. And uh, for a week, because we didn't get paid, uh, for another week, I ate nothing but saltine crackers 
and ketchup and mustard packets. Mm, yum. And that's what I did. I yes. had ketchup, mustard, salty. Got some uh, saltines there. And I'm like, I'm just looking around, and that's all they had laying around the break room. Thank God they had that. I don't know what I would have ate. Paint chips? I remember when I had the, been bad. the dinner of onion. <laughs> God. Well, I, I think I prefer my saltines with ketchup and I mustard know, I do, over uh, yeah. your dinner of onion. My dinner of onion, I remember thinking, God, at least because it was like my day off. But it was the day before our payday. I was like, tomorrow's going to be the best day ever. Because <laughs> not only is it payday, but I get to go to work where we had a popcorn machine. And I'm going to eat popcorn like you don't even know. Oh, my like God. You don't in even college, understand. yes. We worked at a radio station in college that had a popcorn machine. <laughs> and I know that we both did it. We'd sit there on the weekends and just like, that, eat God, popcorn. Monday's got to come because we gotta get we gotta make some popcorn. And then what would you do? Monday, Monday morning breakfast was popcorn. What did you do when you got that paycheck? Where was the first place you went to get food? Was it was it fast food? No, of mine course. Always was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, yeah. It was, it was, it was and you're just Gordon. Yeah. You're just gorging yourself. Yeah, tacos, triple chicken sandwich, yeah. ultimate cheeseburger. Yeah, I'll take a cheesecake and never eat those. But man, I'm living large today because it's payday. Oh my and then God. you blow it on a bunch of fast food, and then you <laughs> right. reset about 10 days later Damn, I guess where, you have, popcorn. where you have to have dinner of onions. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.